The Russian equivalent of Cape Canaveral is called Star City. Until recently, it was closed to outsiders and jealously guarded its outer space secrets. But in the wake of Glosnost, a sightings investigative team was invited to Star City. And when we got there, the first cosmonaut we spoke with told us that he had just had an encounter with a UFO. Sightings went to investigate cosmonaut sightings of UFOs, sightings similar to those reported by American astronauts, but dismissed by American scientists. A lot of things you see on the pictures in space are things we're used to seeing here in the control center down here in Houston. Uh, they're ordinary events that surround the spaceship, pieces coming off, uh, water dumps, pieces of ice, insulation. They're just little pieces, 10, maybe 20 feet away from the camera. But within the Soviet space program, cosmonauts insist that they have seen more than just floating scraps of space junk. I think that we are not alone in the universe. I believe that someone or something of extraterrestrial origin has visited Earth. In April of 1979, cosmonaut Viktor Afanasyev lifted off from Star City to dock with the Soviet Soyuz 6 space station. But while en route, something strange happened. Cosmonaut Afanasyev saw an unidentified object turn toward his craft and begin tailing it through space. It followed us during half of our orbit. We observed it on the light side, and when we entered the shadow side, it disappeared completely. It was an engineering structure made from some type of metal, approximately 40 meters long with inner holes. The object was narrow here and wider here, and inside there were openings. Some places had projections like small wings. The object stayed very close to us. We photographed it, and our photos showed it to be 23 to 28 meters away. In addition to photographing the UFO, Afanasyev continually reported back to mission control about the craft's size, its shape, and position. When the cosmonaut returned to Earth, he was debriefed, told never to reveal what he knew, and had his cameras and film confiscated. Those photos and his voice transmissions from space have never been released. It is only now, with the collapse of the Soviet Union, that Afanasyev feels he can safely tell his story. It is still classified as a UFO, because we have yet to identify the object. Spaceflight itself broadens your horizons to the point which you kind of open up to possibilities. Dr. Story Musgrave is a veteran of five American shuttle missions who has seen and photographed several unidentified flying objects in space. Dr. Musgrave does not believe they are craft from another planet. On two of my missions, and I still don't have an answer, um, I have seen a, a snake out there, six, seven, eight feet long. It is rubbery because it has internal waves in it, and it follows you for a rather long period of time. The more you fly in space, the more you see an incredible amount of things out there, and that sort of brings to you a, really a certainty that, uh, that other living creatures are out there. Some are incredibly primitive, more primitive than us. Some just, uh, just proteins coming together, amino acids, and some just single cell organisms, and other civilizations that have been around for a million years that are doing unimaginable kinds of things. Cosmonaut Afanasyev believes that the UFO he sighted and photographed in 1979 was evidence of just this kind of distant, superintelligent civilization. Does the United States have similar evidence that they're also hiding? No, I'm sure they were divulging. That's what NASA's all about. It's about the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. I can see no reason that that would be classified in any way. And I wouldn't let it be. I'm an astronaut, I fly in space. I have five flights. The second I see some, I'm gonna tell somebody.